Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Christina. I'm currently 14 weeks pregnant and I'm sharing weekly pregnancy vlogs. This week we're doing something a little bit different. I had a lot of nausea and food aversions during the first trimester. However, there was a handful of recipes that were my go-to that I was able to eat and I wanted to share them with you. It was really fun making this vlog this week, so I hope you enjoy. I'll have recipes below in the description box if you want to try them out yourself. We're gonna start with an oatmeal. I do about a handful of oatmeal, followed by maybe a tablespoon or two of chia seeds. These really helped keep things moving in my first trimester while I was a bit constipated. I have some frozen sweet cherries that I throw in there, and when I add the hot water to make the instant oatmeal, it also thaws out the cherries. So I let that sit for a few minutes. I then cut up the cherries because they're a little big and I like little bite-sized pieces of the cherries in my oatmeal. I then add some dates, about four to five dates cut up. And maybe a quarter of a cup of walnuts. I also add a few tablespoons of almond milk and a bit of a drizzle of maple syrup to sweeten it. It's a nice, really filling breakfast. Definitely fills me up, definitely keeps things moving, and definitely hits my sweet tooth. The next is a classic dish. I grew up making these. I was craving Egg McMuffins from McDonald's. So instead of buying that all the time, I decided I would revert back to my childhood favorite, which is a fried egg sandwich on English muffins. Here I add a little oil to the pan with two eggs. Usually I like my oak runny, but I read in pregnancy you shouldn't have runny eggs, so I crack the yolk, add a little salt and pepper, and fry up the eggs. Can't always have a perfect flip. With the English muffins, I add butter. And the secret ingredient to this dish, which makes it so delicious and which is what exactly I was craving in the beginning of my trimester, was that American cheese that we don't even know if it is really cheese. But I tell you what, it makes all the difference on these fried egg sandwiches. I've made it with just regular cheddar cheese, mozzarella. I'm telling you, the Kraft cheese is the way to go, at least for me in my first trimester. Yum, I ate these every day for a week. The next is my blueberry delight smoothie. So here I just add a whole banana, a handful of greens, that can be spinach here, but you can add kale. I add about two cups of blueberries, frozen blueberries. I have a half avocado. And about a tablespoon or two of hemp seeds. I then add about one to two cups of almond milk as well. You mix it up. And this is great for lunch or a snack in between lunch and dinner. Definitely get your greens and fruit in that way. Love me a smoothie. Next is the green smoothie, which is my favorite summertime citrusy smoothie. I add a half a banana, two leaves of kale. Again, you can use any greens you like. I also put in a whole green apple. Along with one to two celery stalks and about a quarter cup of cucumber. I then add about a cup of frozen pineapple. Again, you can use any fruit here that you like. And lastly, two cups of water. And you blend it up. A 
I just love smoothies. They're just such an easy way to get in a lot of fruits and vegetables. Next up we have uh, my favorite vegetarian sandwich. I was craving these a bunch throughout my first trimester. They're so good. It definitely helps to get a lot of veggies in. I am doing sourdough bread here, but you can do any bread that you like. I first add mayo and then tomato. The two together, you get a little of the tomato juice in with the mayonnaise. Oh, it's such a delightful taste. So I definitely have to have the mayo and then the tomatoes together. On the other piece of bread I put avocado and then I add some spinach. Again, you can add any greens here that you like. I had some cabbage in the fridge, so I went ahead and added that. Green pepper, cucumbers, and the secret ingredient that really makes it the most delicious sandwich ever, pickles. Mmm. I am the girl that drinks the pickle juice, I will admit that. Top it up. See that mayo just squishing out? Mmm, so good. You got a stacked veggie sandwich. And this is a bonus treat that I came up with a few years ago and has evolved over the years, but I decided that I have perfected it. You start with a piece of toast. Here again, I have sourdough. You can do whatever you like. You put down some coconut oil, followed by some peanut butter. Half a banana, sliced up, and I top it with some honey. Usually honey just dribbles onto it, but ours, honey was getting to the bottom of the container here, so I had to do some spreading of it. This is the best thing if you're craving something sweet but don't want to go too indulgent. Topped with some chia seeds because you know I'm trying to stay healthy. And that's it. It's delicious. Trust me, you have to try it. If you like bananas, if you like peanut butter, if you like honey, try this bread. It is so, so, so delicious. And that's all I have for you guys today. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Thanks for watching and walking with. See you next week.